Gina and Debbie, if you would come. Don't ever take for granted the power of God. God is an awesome God. He's an almighty God. And He died for you. And He died for me. With every head bowed and every eye closed, let me tell you how awesome God is. You and I were not good enough to go to heaven. And God said, I don't want that to happen. That I don't want to force anybody either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay not the down payment. I'm going to pay for it in full. I'm going to send my son to die on the cross. It's not going to be an electric chair. It's not going to be legal injection. I'm going to let him be humiliated for the whole world. I'm going to let him get beaten and crucified like no other person ever has been or will be. And I'm going to let him suffer up there on the cross. And while he's up there on the cross and people are having their day in the sun there thinking about how great they are hanging this man, three days later, he's going to come out of that grave. God has power over death. And God loves you and I so much that He sent His only Son to die for us. And He says that if you'll accept Him as your personal Savior, you can have reservations in heaven. Maybe you're here this morning and you have never received Jesus Christ as your Savior. <coughs> Today is the day. You don't, you're not promised tomorrow. That's how awesome my God is. He made it equal for everybody. You say, well, uh, i, I got to do this. No, 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 no. He said, you are saved by grace, which means a gift through faith. If you've never asked Jesus Christ to come in your life and save you, we're going to sing a song of invitation. And I'm going to ask you, if the Lord's laid on your heart to get saved this morning, you walk down this aisle and you shake my hand, you say, Brother Mike, I need to get saved. I'll take it from there. I can't save you, but I can show you how to be saved. You say, well, it's kind of embarrassed. I'm a little shy. With every head bowed and every eye closed. My awesome God, my awesome Lord, went through public humiliation so that we could have this day. You come this morning. Maybe you're here this morning and you're saved. And, and you've never been scripturally baptized. You've heard all the, the things, maybe sprinkling or pouring us all the time. Let's don't cover up the doctrine issue. Baptism is by immersion. Period. The word baptizio means under. It means, it, it means to go underwater. It means by immersion. Or maybe, maybe you're here this morning you've never been baptized because you've heard that you don't need to get baptized to get to heaven. That, that's absolutely true. But you know what? If you don't get baptized, then you're being disobedient to God. Are you going to heaven if you're saved? Yes. Being baptized won't kick you out, but there's something about being obedient to God. Jesus thought it was so important, He did it Himself. Let's, let's, just, let's just lay it on the table. Let's don't be a sissy about it. Let's don't try to, let's, let, let's don't try to, to, to be slothful or lazy about it. Let's don't have a spirit lifeless service. Let's, let's just tell the truth. Maybe you're here this morning, you're saved, and you need to come for baptism. You need to set a date or you can be baptized. Maybe you're here this morning and you're a member of another church. And this is where God's calling you. Right here. The God, God wants you to be right here in this local church. Everybody needs a church family. Everybody needs a church family. Everybody needs to be part of the local New Testament church. That's what most of the New Testament is about. The local church working together, fellowshipping together, doing the Lord's work. Maybe you need to come this morning. So, Brother Mike, I'd like to join West Side. Maybe you're here this morning and maybe you're saved and baptized. Maybe you remember this church or another church. Maybe you just want to come to the altar and pray. Maybe God's just laid something on your heart. Maybe you need to come pray for somebody. Maybe you need to come pray for us. I don't know, I don't know what it is. But maybe you just need to come down here to the altars and pray. All I'm saying is, let's don't have a lifeless service. Let's do what God has called us to do. Don't ever underestimate the power of God.
Father, in the name of Jesus, this is not my service. I'm not God. I'm a sinner saved by grace. And Lord, I've delivered the message. Lord, these messages convict me. They comfort me. They encourage me. And Lord, they give me righteousness. Lord, they give me uh, so many things. Lord, they help me. And Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, that starting with me first, that we understand how important our homes are. We understand how important these pulpits are. We understand how important our churches are. It's so easy to blame the outside world, the unbelievers, the government, the educational system, Hollywood. But yet our own backyard is not cleaned up. Lord, right now, I pray you have your will and your way during this invitation. And only you be glorified through it. For it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen.